uh, again, as I've said for a long time, I'm not rooting for Disney to fail. I'm rooting for Disney to get back to its roots and become the preeminent entertainment company, kids entertainment company out there. It's not that anymore. Well, you're I, better than not man than I am. I'm rooting for them to fail at this point. Well, I'm rooting okay. for their same, That's same, not, Mike. Let me hang on. Let me be clear on this. If Disney is going to continue down this path, I'm all for them hitting rock bottom and failing because that's the only thing that's going to fix them. What I'm saying is in the long term, I would much rather have Disney become once again a, 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 a tremendous force for American culture and American positivity and American families. I would much rather see that than the crap path that they have decided to go down at this point. Now, if they keep going down it, fail. Fail hard and screw you because you've earned it, and they're already at that point now. But I hope and pray that some sense of reason and some sense of moral fortitude is going to take them over, and at some point, somebody new is going to get in there and turn the corner. Do I expect that Bob Iger is going to be the man to make that happen? Hell to the frickin' no. The fact that Bob Iger was renewed last week shows, as I said several times already this week, here on my channel, on this live stream, on other people's channels. Nick, you and I talked about this last night on Echo Base Network. Yep. This was a failure of the board. The board 100%. failed. The board has failed. The board is continuing to fail. Fail, fail, fail. That's all they're doing. By putting Bob Iger back in the driver's seat, it says that they don't know what else to do. And I'll make this clear again. I do not believe that there is a single person in the senior executive management in the C-suite in Burbank at the Walt Disney Company that is capable, even remotely, of turning this company around and fixing the problems. Everybody's got to go, including everybody on the board, including the piece of trash Mark Parker that they just put in as in the chairman's seat. And the only reason they put in Mark Parker there from Nike to be the chair of Disney is so that, you know, their thought process was, well, that he can massage China. Uh, that's why Mark Parker is there. Sorry to be crude, but that's the reality. I've of got it. two more things to add. So, One is that, and this is pure speculation, no rumor, no source. I'm just telling you that based upon how I know that boards operate and C-suite level stuff happens is that I think what happened is that uh, Bob had Christine McCarthy be the front chick in terms of getting the board to toss Chapek and bring him back. He didn't need her anymore. She, he's not, you know, he sees himself as being necessary. She thought she was going to take over. Yes. Health, health reasons and family things. Like she's like, I, you know, f this shit. I'm um, f this crap. Beep. I'm out. Yep. Um. And uh. And now he's sitting there and he's like, holy hell, what have I done? And uh, but Bob Iger does more than anybody Game of Thrones style is he makes sure that anybody else that could be CEO that would be in the path to be CEO and that might have a shot at being CEO will never become CEO. In particular, um, you know, the the next two people will probably come from, I don't know, probably, I mean, I don't know, Dana or, you know, I don't know. Dana uh, Walden, Alan Bergman. Or, I mean, they could bring or, back Tom or the Stags, park guy, Tom. Josh yeah. Tomorrow. Josh Tomorrow, one of those yeah. guys. But but now with this, now that, and plus, they all know this. They all know that, they all know that he's got the consulting contract. Who's going to want to run this company when you've got Daddy A. Iger over here? You know, what I think is going to happen, Nobody. possibly, is I think he's going to preside over the continued decline and implosion of Disney from now through 2031. Because yes. unless he wakes up and gets a healthy dose of serious humility and actually really understands what's happening, it will all burn down. And let me tell you this. On yeah. top of everything, you know he's in trouble because he just turned on the people that love him most, which are all the Hollywood people, all the people whose butts he kissed, yep. post-Marvel acquisition, post-Pixar acquisition, post-Lucasfilm, all of these creative, wokey types. He just pissed them all off while they're on a strike. And this thing, I mean, it's like he's setting fires inside of his own house of the mouse. And as far as I'm concerned, he can. Uh, I'm just going to stay tuned and watch him let Mike, it burn. You're yeah, right. And, and Nick, what what did I say last night with you on Echo Base about Iger and and everything else? Is that it, it's like, look, this is the guy, right? This is the guy that 
Disney said, we have to bring Bob Iger back. Christine McCarthy, <laughs> we have to bring Bob Iger back. Because he's doing such a swell job. Yeah. Well, well, what did I tell you last night on Echo Base, Nick? Because Bob Iger is the guy, according to the Hollywood media, even like Matt Bellany and all these guys in Puck Magazine. God bless these folks. And I don't John get along Campia. with them politically. Yeah, John Campia. <laughs> because Bob Iger understands Hollywood. And Bob yeah. Iger knows how to deal with actors. You know, if Bob Iger had been there back in 2021 the whole mess with scar joe wouldn't have happened because and, bob chapek well he you know he's not a hollywood and, guy and, he doesn't know how to work with actors and, so let's get Iger back and look at what's going on the president of the sag aftra fran dresser goes out there and personally calls bob Iger gal at bob Iger out is a piece of crap I'm like, right. oh, this is glorious. <laughs> right. This and, is glorious. And here's, and here's how you and here's how the board gets manipulated easily. They're like, this is all it takes is a little bit of manipulation. It's all Game of Thrones style. It's like a little bit of manipulation. Yeah. All it takes is like, well, guys, we thought Christine might take over, but of course she had to leave for the medical thing. Right. Christine and, left. You're you're totally right, and, Mike. Christine and, left and because guys, Bob Iger was getting been, renewed. We've been asking around with the headhunters and we've been we don't have any other candidates. And you guys, guys, you know we got all these problems, right, guys? Right, Valiant, right, yeah. Nick, right. Mm. You you guys, you know what, guys? I think we probably need to ask Bob to stay. Well, I don't know if he'll do it, guys. Meanwhile, I already <laughs> talked to him and I, I already was on his boat yacht and we already like, you know, mapped this thing out. Guys, I don't know, but I'm going to talk to Bob, see if he'll stay, because we don't want to be on the board when this thing goes down. Yeah, 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 you're right. Go talk to Bob. Talk to Bob. Yeah, go talk to Bob. What Bob has yeah. turned into is literally the captain on the Titanic, and the iceberg is now, okay, yeah. I got to move. Yeah. Because there's nothing else you can do. He's taken his legacy, and now his legacy is going down with his ship. Like, the, the, you, okay, you, you you betray everyone you kissed, her, kissed ass to. Fine. But when you betray the audience that has known you for decades – there's no coming back once you burn that bridge it's like burning a friendship or burning a family member it's the same thing yeah once that bridge is gone you burn that trust trust is more of a commodity than any type of one billion dollar movie and bob has none bob has no trust except for trust uh, i guess trust bonds that's about mm -hmm. it that's all he has the ones he writes with disney that don't mean shit yeah, the, 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 this whole thing is like watching uh, episode of Jay Springer. <laughs> it, it, it is it is so laughable. It's it, we are living in an effing clown world right now. And and I told Valiant this when he was on last night. I I keep picturing the scene in Phantom Menace when the mm -hmm. whole entire Senate votes. Uh, uh, no okay. confidence and Chancellor of Lorem, uh, yeah. but you know nobody is nobody is doing that. Nobody is saying, "Hey, this guy needs to get out," and we don't want a replacement of Bob 2.0 coming in here. We want somebody that's going to end up turning th this whole thing around, getting the woke crap out, uh, trying to normalize weirdness, and get back to family friendly content like what mario's doing uh it's they are so freaking clueless they're living in a completely different world and it's so frustrating for people that really like old school disney to sit there and watch it burn uh but you know this is the bed they're making and now they're gonna have to well, sleep well, in it